Hey, this is Jonathan from GameSpot Asia here right now. I'm still tag teaming here with my cross country Asia buddy, Zian. So yeah. tell us, after this is now like fifth episode right now, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so who are we going to show off this time? Mm, now I'm much more familiar with the game. I'm going to show, I think, one of the strongest characters in the game, Raven. Ah, Raven. Yeah. I believe he's one of the ninjas of Tekken. Mm, yep. Alright, cool. Let's take a look. He looks really cool, so... Late 90s, maybe not, because I'm still really young. Uh, Dennis yeah. Rodman, he starred in this movie called Double Team with John Paul Van Damme. Mm. Um, it's not a really good movie, it's just like, it's a so bad, it's good kind of movie, like action stuff. He can't really act, but he actually has that whole action vibe, star vibe thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Mm. So you've practiced Raven for like how many weeks now? I mean, how many days so far? Mm, probably I'm, I never really do the trials, but I kind of playing in a tournament match, yep. in tournaments, and I find his stuff really good and a very strong damage output together with the tech combos, really good. Uh, and that's where I decided, mm, I'll pick him up. <laughs> all right, okay, ah, that was his haste, his uh, teleportation move. Yeah, this move is really good, I guess, because you can use it as a mix-up. After you maybe you throw a kunai, you can mix it up with the teleport. All right, yeah. all right cool. Mm. You know, the funny thing is, this guy is a ninja, and somehow his bio on the Tekken official website, they say it's from Canada. So, from Canada? Yeah, yeah, it's from Canada. I was actually expecting him to have more of a Canada outfit, you know, like red and white. I mean, he got the white down pat, but we're talking like red and maple leaf. Yeah, but he doesn't have anything red in him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does have tattoo though. Oh yeah, lots of tattoos. Is that like a ninja code thing? Like if you, I thought that was Yakuza more like. <laughs> yeah, he looks more like Yakuza. Yeah, right. Because yeah. I know ninjas, they don't actually actually cover themselves. I think Raven seems to be like the as close as the perfect ninja as can get because of his light clothing. I don't know about the scarf though. Hmm. Not not sure about that. <laughs> Okay, yes, I'm doing something wrong again. Oh, oh what's, what's <laughs> up? So bad. <laughs> it's a chain. <laughs> Same mistake again. I All right. Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen the past videos, like, sometimes it's pretty hard to determine what's a chain and what's a link when you first start off. So it's just a matter of practicing and knowing which is which and what is what. Yeah, I guess when you know what, what is what, like maybe watching the videos and you know which is a chain and which is a link, the trial won't probably won't be difficult. You just have to wreck your brain to know. Ah, right. Yeah. Right. And of course, uh, seeing that we are filming on the week of March the 14th, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, March the 13th, um, I believe we've heard some news in regards to um, certain special DLC that was actually on the disc in the first place. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess it's the Pac-Man and the Mega Man, right? Actually, no, I was thinking of more something a little shadier, I guess. Mm. Um, I'm sure you've heard about um, Lars, Alyssa and a bunch of other characters that were announced. Oh, yeah, yeah, the 12 other characters. Yeah, the 12 other characters. It turns out that they're actually on the disc in the first place. And Capcom, I don't know when they're going to sell the, the DLC code for that, but apparently it's to unlock what's already inside. And based on some stuff that's been happening on videos, like on the weekend or on Monday, as I saw it on Monday, mm -hmm. they seem actually complete. Uh, basically, they got Jack, Brian, um, yeah, Lars, Alyssa, Blanca, Alina, Sakura and a few others now, which I can't come off at the top of my head. So, what are your thoughts about this personally from a consumer perspective? Mm -hmm. I think after buying the game, you still have to pay additional prices. Definitely, it's not that good, but if you know it adds more hypes to the game because there's more character, I don't think, as long as it's not too expensive, I think it's fine. Oh, right, yeah, right. it really all depends on the price, I guess. Uh, cool, cool. I can actually imagine that's being a Capcom PR nightmare as we speak. Yeah, I think because I'm not that knowledgeable about in this field, but I too heard from my friends a bit, and I guess it's a lot of people is complaining about it, right? 
But honestly, it's a shame that they're actually not playing it because of that standpoint, because this is honestly a really good game. I've actually had a hand in it. I'm using a team Zangief and Asuka, which you might want to teach me one of these days. <laughs> yeah, but, and they're yeah. really, really good. I mean, it's a really great combo. Uh, it's not really combo-centric at the same time, but there are so many new mechanics. Like, I do agree. I really like this game. Uh, <laughs> okay, one. back on track. We're already at number 15 and it's only been like, what, 10 minutes or so? Or even less than that? Wow. Um, <laughs> I'd be better, I think. I'm really, I'm really, really bad at the last few ones. Uh, so... Okay, stuck here again. Ah, uh, the trials of a ninja. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I really hate trials. Uh, and that's the reason. <laughs> Because yeah. the, the thing is, yeah, that's the other problem as well. King of Fighters 13 does have like those little videos to show what you're doing wrong. Yeah. And in this one, they don't give you much of a clue. So you have to be smart and figure it out. Anyway, no worries. Uh, maybe we can skip this and go to the next one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, audience, yeah, man. No worries, no worries. But um, would that be practical in like only in the corner or even... No way is that going to be practical. It's okay. not even... <laughs> ah, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so I can juggle it after this. Uh, I guess that's how it is. Maybe slightly a little higher. Hmm. Somewhere there. Yeah, got it. Oh, I mean, nice. Yeah, I guess. That's <laughs> so, I've been playing Raven for so long, I haven't seen this combo. That's why I don't like the trials combo, because it's usually not practical. Like in a real match, most of the combos you are doing is easy, or maybe say, more practical purpose. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, oh, that's the fun thing about these. I mean, sometimes you just learn, you just have to gauge which errant and which are. And um, yeah, later on, don't worry viewers, you're gonna see more of a uh, Raven shenanigans. And I'll probably have to play as a dummy eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And... Gosh, I get it. To be honest, I kind of wish Dan was in the game, but... Uh, I don't know. Because yeah. we got Sakura, Blanca, we've got the two cats for the PS3 game, so yeah. So this trial, this is more of a matter of like making sure the right time uh, he's in the air, right? Mm, yeah, it's not much of a... You probably won't use it in a real match, but to complete the trial, you just have to make sure the second EX, EX Shuriken uh -huh. to get the right high. Probably that's the only thing. Uh, when you throw the first EX, to replace the other EX Shuriken, do you think it's better just to do a com to do a super arts instead? Or? Yeah, yeah, because it's more damaging as well. Of course. So... Yeah. yeah, helpful hints whenever you want to use the Ninja Raven here. Yeah. Oh, okay. This combo. Oh, did you manage to uh, complete some of the endings for uh, arcade mode for this game? Mm. No, I haven't played the arcade mode. Ah, no worries. <laughs> uh, apparently, Yoshimitsu and Raven's ending is actually kind of... Yeah. I'm not sure if I can say funny. It's Let's just say someone gets stuck in the box. Someone gets stuck in the box? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but yeah, that's pretty much the punchline right there. Okay, maybe I should try it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, it's Raven who can't actually get used to Yoshimitsu's uniqueness, basically. Mm. I mean, the guy spits purple venom, he has this sword that craves for blood, like in those shinobi games, and he speaks in mumbo-jumbo Japanese or something. He's got that robot voice. Hmm, okay. Mum what do you mean by mumbo jumbo? Like he'll speak, I think he speaks in Japanese, uh, Yoshimitsu, but the thing is when you go to the voice uh, options to select, you can't select English for him. That's his default voice speech. Oh, so there's only one one voice for it? Yeah, one voice for uh, Yoshimitsu. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit strange. And you notice, I mean, if, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Tekken, but yeah, he actually has a lot of costume changes. Mm. The reason they pick his Tekken 3 outfit is because for Street Fighter Cross Tekken, for Yoshi, is because it's the best. It's the best? The best outfit. Outlook, you mean it, the way it looks? Yeah, yeah, because uh, Yoshimitsu's other outfits are, to put it kindly, very retarded. He becomes <laughs> a big ass samurai, he becomes a scarab bug with wings. <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> Just do a search on Wiki sometime and you'll be like, WTF. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, uh, so, we're at. so far it looks really good though, most of the outfits that uh, I saw. Oh, yeah. oh, we're talking about the DLC outfits or the ones mm. inside the game right now? Pretty much all of it looks pretty good. Oh. I mean, for the characters I use. Oh, I agree with you, no complaints right there. Ogre's Ogre, Asuka's Asuka. Yoshimitsu has the best one, so I mean, for its outfit. 
Yeah. That's how I see it. Hmm. I believe the. I mean, I think the middle one looks like a chain. Oh no, no, it doesn't. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a links. I want to try the last, uh, the last four hits, for medium kick and then. Uh, uh, after the sweep, yeah, after that sweep and then medium kick. Okay, that works fine. Yeah, it's for the first part that is. Would you say Some his uh, sweep move, uh, crouching high punch, is just as fast as bell rocks, or mm. enough to surprise someone without getting uh, retaliated? Seems seems good, but I doesn't know if I couldn't describe it this way because it seems really fast, but the range seems to be short. That's uh, how I felt. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, that's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna show off a little bit on uh, more tricks and whatnot from Raven and I'll probably have to be the test dummy, is that correct? Uh, or we can yeah, just put it in actually, AI. Yeah, actually, yeah, both, both will do, I guess. Okay, okay cool, cool. Yeah. Again, um, we're going to show off a bit of what Raven can do in a more practical tournament environment. Yes. If you please. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to play Raven in a tournament play, basically, it's a very fast character because it's a very fast dash. So the mobility-wise is really good. So I will show some of the way you can get in. Like, if you throw a kunai, Right, you can just teleport and you pretty much get to the face of the opponent ah. and you can start your mix-up easily. Like it's immediately doing this overhead move. Ah, th that's an overhead, the teleport kick, right? Yeah, so you can actually catch your opponent really unpredictably. Ah, right, right. Either way, depends on how you want to use it or you can just immediately hit low. Okay. Yeah, so the basic bread and butter combos for it, like for everybody who doesn't know, is the this loop which is what makes Raven really strong ah, okay, by okay. doing the crouching fierce, yeah. cancer, cancelling into the quarter circle back to the move, and dashing, and that's the one of the combos that you're always been seeing all the good players will be using because ah. it does so much damage, three hundred sixty nine. That's for a loop, and you haven't even linked to any special move as well. Okay, so let's back up a bit. Uh, what you just showed off was a pretty recent technique shown off online. It's uh, basically the the charge cancel, right? Um, yeah, yeah. All right. So could you explain a little bit on uh, why is that like suddenly when you charge, you can suddenly dash and then do a combo from there? Um, yeah, for every character in the game, there's a move that you can charge where you can dash forward or do a back dash. Yeah. And Raven just happened to have a move that scooped the opponent high enough. Yeah. So basically, you for that, that's the reason why you can continue the loop. You can do it for five times if you just do a raw loop, but usually you will link with a combo. And the bread and butter combo is really easy because you usually just this is the common bread and butter combo where you everybody links the down middle kick yep. into the grab and after that you use a light punch to to jagger it and you continue with the loop. Ah. Yeah, and you do it for three times. All right, all right. Yeah, cool, cool. and it's tr also three hundred plus damage without any bar. Uh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, cool. and this because of the damage output is so crazy to play Raven. Because it's really good pokes as well. Like you can poke your opponent really far. That's the medium kick, right? Standing uh, medium kick? Light kick. Oh, light kick. Okay, yeah, okay. it's a light kick. And the range of the down middle kick is really good. Uh, yeah, so you can start off easily. If the opponent doesn't doesn't block, you know, when he's blocking, you don't want to do this move, although it's really hard to punish it. You can throw the kunai. And your recovery is really fast. And so it's very easy. If he blocks it, you just teleport and you just like, you know, Oh, ah, okay. the mix-up comes again. Ah, right. It's very so safe. It's the important thing is to put a zoning tool on the top, like a projectile, and then you teleport so he won't jump. Yeah, correct. Or you can throw on the ground and you can teleport. Ah, Either way. And nice. you can just do a throw immediately if you want. Like, it's a mix-up. Like, really fast mix-up. Yeah. Ah, right, right. And if an opponent throws a tiger shot or anything that has a projectile, you can basically use the ultra to pass through the projectiles and you can do it from a distance. Ah, okay. From Does it become the full animation when it's at a distance? Uh, no, if it's too far, it doesn't have the full animation, but it really reduces a decent amount of damage. Okay, okay. So you can try to react nearer if you want to. Or you can predict their, ta their tiger shot and teleport to punish it. Ah. Yeah. Like, uh, I think it's better, like, from a jump distance if someone is stupid enough to throw a projectile on that, you just read him and just do it from there? Yeah, you can react towards it, like, you can get used to it and just react, because the input is really easy for now, right, right. so it's not much effort. 
And for the NTS, I guess what most people is interested is standing middle kick, right. where he hits the air, or crouching middle punch. Oh. Both are good NTS. So depending on the range, both works around the same way. Oh, right. So you can use these two moves as, as an NTS. And that's basically what you need to go and join a tournament, maybe in your area, and basically beat a lot of good players. Just from the tools that now you, you know, that's really kind of enough. Because most players doesn't fight Riven enough as well. Ah, okay. And okay. this kind I've noticed uh, in tournaments a lot of, I mean, not uh, recent ones that I've seen, I think Kazuya, Jin, uh, oh, Law, Law Lord, especially. Yeah. So Raven, I mean, uh, at least some people you got to try to brush up uh, for character knowledge and whatnot, which we'll actually get to in another episode in the future. Yeah. But for now, it's all Raven. It's that so Raven, I guess. Yeah, it's so it's so good, and that's probably what I want to show everybody what you can do. All right, so that's it for Raven for right now. I mean, we showed you the trials, we've shown you a little bit of what Raven's magic is, making him why he's a kick-ass ninja. So uh, yeah, do check out for future episodes with Cross Counter Asia and Games One Asia. Write down these links.